Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. So today guys, I'm going to be giving you a review of all the best players on Sir Fantasy Football for Real Madrid in the Spanish La Liga. If you do like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Sir A yet, you can sign up using the link in the description. You'll get 50% off your first purchase. So full details for that guys are in the description below. So make sure you check out that offer if you've not signed up yet. So guys, let's get straight into this then. As I say, I'm going to be reviewing all the best players for Surrey Fans Football in the Real Madrid squad today. So, without further ado, let's get straight stuck into it. I'm going to be covering all the positions, guys. And I am going to be starting with the goalkeepers at Real Madrid. So the first goalkeeper, of course, and the best goalkeeper at Real Madrid is Courtois. Of course, he is currently injured with a crucial ligament tear until March 2024. He's got his only effect to one though, he's got a long contract with Real Madrid till 2026. So when he comes back, he's of course going to be getting the first place back in the team. He's also a Belgium international. His limited card is going for around £59 at the minute. His rare card is going for 592 And I think he was one of the best goalkeepers on the platform with some fantastic scores as we can see here. These are absolutely brilliant scores for a goalkeeper. He's also got 13 clean sheets in the last 29 games as well for Real Madrid. So he's a fantastic choice, guys, on Sir Rare. And he's going to be the number one again when he does come back. At the moment, of course, Kepe is fitting in for Courtois. And he's um, only 29. His scores have not been too bad, really, um, since he's been at Real Madrid. Some decent scores there. But like I said, I don't expect him to be the first choice player when... Courtois does come back into the team. His limit is going from 42 at the moment and his rare is going from 458. So let's move on to defenders then, guys. Now, I know a good player and probably the best defender for Real Madrid is Malitao. Unfortunately, though, he is currently injured. Now, as you can see, he's got a crucial ligament tear as well and he's coming back in March 2024 as well. So they're going to be getting back Real Madrid in March, a quality goalkeeper and, of course, a quality defender. So I bet they're looking forward to a match coming around. He's only 25 as well and got a contract till 2025 with Real Madrid. Limited card at the moment is going for a pretty cheap price of £20. That's probably because he's injured and his rare is going for around 176 Scores wise though we can see he's got some absolutely fantastic scores here guys. Last 28 games as well he's actually scored 5 goals for Real Madrid. He's had 3 clearances off the line as well. So some fantastic scores. This is really showing his quality with some good AA as well of 22. So he's probably the best choice in the Real Madrid defence. Next best is Carvajal. He's only 31. He's got a contract with them until 2025. Going for a very cheap 670 at the moment. His rare is going for a measly £55. And as you can see, he is capable of getting some peak scores. He's probably not the best, but he is the second best defender at Real Madrid. Obviously, Malatau is up there with the best though. Next up, we'll go on to the midfielders. And, of course, Jude Bellingham is one of the best midfielders at Real Madrid and probably currently on Sir Rare Fans Football in terms of midfielders. He's only 20 as well, this guy. So he's got under 23 eligibility as well until 2027. And his contract doesn't end until 2029 with Real Madrid. So he's a long-term prospect for them. And he's doing fantastic so far in his early career at Real Madrid. You're going to be paying a hefty sum for this player though. 244 for his limited and £2,133 for his rare. Now, but looking at his scores, guys, so far at Real Madrid, these have been nothing short of absolutely fantastic. We can see he's already scored four 100 scores in 13 games. He's also scored 13 goals, guys, and three assists in 13 starts for Real Madrid. This is absolutely fantastic, including two goals away to Barcelona in the last game. So this guy is a hefty sum, but the moment, guys, is certainly living up to that price bracket. He's, of course, the best midfielder for Real Madrid. He's probably, well, he is actually the best fantasy football player as well on so rare currently for Real Madrid. Probably one of the best on the platform at the minute as well. Another good midfielder, though, is Tishomini. 
He's only 23. He's got a contract with Real Madrid to 2028. Fairly good scorer as well in the scoring matrix. He's gone to a minute. He's £26 for his limited and around 363 for his rare. Scores wise, as you can see, fairly good. He is consistent. He is able to get these high scores as well of 100. And as you can see, he's got a few more consistently high numbers here. But with him being a bit more of a defensive player, he might not always reach those peak scores. Another good option as well is Tony Cruz, but it is rumoured that he's potentially going to be retiring at the end of this season. But when he does start, it's still a fantastic choice on Surrey Fantasy Football. He's only 33 as well, but like I say, he could be retiring at the end of this season, potentially. Limited is only going for around £8.34 though, and his rare is going for around 61 Probably suppressed a bit due to him potential retirement. And then if we look at his scores, guys, we can see when he does start for Real Madrid, he's racking up some absolutely brilliant scores. This is mainly down to his fantastic all-round score of 28.4 on average in his last 28 starts. So a fantastic choice there, guys, but as I say, a little bit of a risk here associated with Cruz. So then, guys, another midfielder is worth a look is Valverde. He's 25, he's got a contract with Real Madrid until 2027. His limited is going from 30, and his red is going from 276. Now, scores wise, guys, he has got some lower scores here, but he is capable of these peak scores as well, guys, on a good fixture, as you can see here. He's got a really good all round score as well of 19.5 on average. So, another decent option to consider. So on to the forwards then guys so the first one I've gone for is Vinicius Junior he's only 23 he's got under 23 eligibility until 2025 um, he's £74 for his limited at the moment and around 975 for his rare now it has to be said he's not been on the best of form as of late as you can see from these scores here but in this period here guys as you can see he was absolutely on fire and he is still doing really well for Real Madrid of course in his last 35 starts he scored 10 goals and got 12 assists but it does seem to be going through a little bit of a bad patch at the moment for Real Madrid and the other forward that's worth considering in the Real Madrid squad for Surrey Fans Football is 22-year-old Rodrigo, who's got under-23 eligibility till 2025. He's also got a contract with Real Madrid as well till 2025. His price is going for around 29 for his limited and around 279 for his rare card. In terms of scores, we can see not the best scorer really, guys, but he is the second best option in terms of forwards in the Real Madrid squad. But he is certainly capable of getting some high scores, guys, as well. Still young as well, of course. And in the last 39 starts, he's had 11 goals and 5 assists. So, guys, that was the pick of the bunch for the Real Madrid squad. As you can see, Jude Bellingham is probably the best player that they've got. That's also depicted here as well. He's scoring absolutely fantastically so far on so rare. And it's certainly one that all the managers are after at the moment. Okay then guys, thanks for watching as always. Like I say, if you want to start your so rare fantasy football journey, if you've not done so, use the link in the description. You will get 50% off your first purchase. Full details are down there in the description. If you did like the video though, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.